What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, reviewing today Hatred on Steam. This is one of the most controversial games we've had in years. Kotaku's pretty much all out banned coverage of it, but really, is it worth the hype? At its very essence, Hatred is a twin stick shooter. A really simplistic game that actually has some pretty clever things mixed in. Right away, I'm sure you're going to notice the strong artistic style they chose. Everything's in this black and white, monochrome styling. It makes it look like a Sin City movie, and I really like that about it. The only thing that's colored in this entire world is fire, blood, and police sirens. This is how our twisted character sees the world. Those who are hunting him, and those he can hunt. The controls in this game aren't the sharpest. Really, we've had some awesome twin stick shooters in the last couple years. Games like Helldivers or Dead Nation showed us that these games are awesome, but something that really helped those out was the fact that they were co-op. Something that makes Hatred feel a lot more stilted is the fact that everything is done alone, and honestly, most of the objectives are pretty linear and mundane. We see our character on a quest for vengeance, just trying to kill everyone in the world he can for some ridiculous, ambiguous goal of eternal vengeance against the normals. When you actually jump into the game world though, everything's a lot more straightforward. Typically, each mission has you either trying to kill a certain amount of people, or achieve a certain objective, like get vengeance on an old school bully. You really see the Unreal Engine shine in this game though, because everything is destructible. While most people are running from you, it's really fun when you get in a big firefight against the police and you throw a grenade and just decimate a building. With totally destructible environments, you really feel like a kid in a candy store when you get a nice big gun. One thing that really kind of weirded me out about this game was the fact that the way you regain health is by performing executions. Whenever you incapacitate a police officer or civilian, you can walk up and press the action button, doing a slower, more intense kill. These are very visceral, but also something about them seems a little bit too far. This is definitely just the developer trying to gross us out, to make us feel bad for buying the game, which really is kind of an odd choice in my opinion. Even the writing in this game is actually pretty bad. The dialogue is just delivered in such a flat tone. So much of this game feels like it's trying to rile you up. But with this really zoomed out camera angle, you feel so distanced from the carnage. Everything about it is so cartoonish that you never actually feel bad. It genuinely feels about as disgusting as watching a kid play with G.I. Joes. It's just that disconnected from any sort of realism. So we've heard some good and we've heard some bad, but let's head over to the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Hatred on the PC a 5 out of 10. At the end of the day, this is just another bland shooter. Really, nothing makes it truly unique other than the ridiculous marketing behind it. This was actually the first game this company made, and for a first game, this is really solid. Even though Hatred isn't the best, I'm excited to see what else they do, because you know what? This game is gonna make a killing. Thanks so much for watching guys, this has been Dreamcast Guy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others can see it and leave me a cool comment down below. You guys rock, but do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.